Hello students. In this video, we are going to learn about clock CMOS logic style. In our previous video, we saw about the problem of cascading dynamic logic and how to overcome the cascading problem by keeping an inverter in between and that will be giving you the domino logic. Here, we are going to learn a different logic which is called as clock C MOS logic or called as C square MOS logic. Here, we'll be having clock transistors. What is that clock transistor? Your gate of your MOSFET will be given with the clock signal and the particular clock signal is going to activate or control your MOSFETs. So what is it? You will be having a static logic together with your clock signals. What is the static logic? We will be having both your, of course, we will be having both your pull up network and your pull down network together with your clock signals, that is clock transistors will be giving you clock for CMOS, that is nothing but C square MOS logic. So what is the modification that we are giving to the static logic? We are going to keep two clocked MOSFET between your pull up network and your pull down network. If we have only pull up network and pull down network, that is nothing but your normal CMOS logic. Whereas here, we will be keeping two clocked MOSFET between your pull up network and pull down network. So see the circuit of your clocked CMOS. In your clocked CMOS, as I said, there is two clocked MOS or clocked transistors between your pull up network and your pull down network. And since static CMOS, how many number of inputs will be there in your pull-up and pull-down? The same number of inputs will be there in your pull-up network and pull-down network. I have just mentioned three inputs, A, B, C, and those three A, B, C are given to my pull-down network as well. But here the modification is, this is clocked CMOS, so two clocked transistors are there in between and one is controlled with clock signal, one more is controlled by clock bar. The negation of your clock, and that is given to your MP, one more is MN. And output is taken at the common point of both MP and N. And now, what is this MP and N? MN? MP and MN are the clocked MOSFET, right? MP and MN are the clocked MOSFET. What are the clock signal? Clock and clock bar are your clock signals. Now, clock made to equal one. Clock is made equal to one. The phase is called logic evaluation. When clock is equal to one, it's called as logic evaluation. See, when my clock is equal to one, what is happening when clock is equal to 1, clock bar will be equal to 0. So when my clock is equal to 1 and clock bar is equal to 0, 1 is given to the N MOSFET and 0 is given to the P MOSFET. 1 when it is given to the M N will turn on M N and 0 given to M P or P MOS will turn on your P MOSFET. So, one when it is given during logic evaluation stage will turn on both your MP and MN. What is it? There is a shorting between both MP and MN from your pull up network to pull down network. So what it will become? It will become just like your static logic. What is static logic? We just have both your pull up network and your pull down network. So here when I make clock equal to 1, both your MP and MN will be on. There is a short circuit between pull up network and pull down network and the circuit just behave like a static logic. But this presence of MP and MN will provide additional parasitic capacitance as well as resistance. So we know that time, switching time will be proportional to your resistance and capacitance. There will be a longer switching time in your clock at CMOS to provide your output. 
what i said your mp and mn the transistors they are going to behave like a short and due to the, due to the presence of parasitic capacitance and resistance we know tau is equal to rc so the time is going to be in proportion with your resistance and capacitance that is parasitics that will give you a longer switching time now my output c out will be charged to v out and my v out will be either on or vdd I mean, either it will be off or zero, or it will be VDD based on my inputs, right? When my inputs are in such a way, my pull-up network and pull-down network are on and off, my output will stay either at one or it will stay in zero. Based on your inputs, my output will change its position. Because it is just going to behave like a static logic when my circuit is in logic evaluation state. Now, I am going to give my clock is equal to zero. When I give clock is equal to zero, I have mentioned it as high Z mode. Z is nothing but impedance, high impedance mode. What is it? We'll check it. When my clock is given to zero, clock bar is equal to one. So zero is given to which MOSFET? N MOSFET. And one is given to? P MOSFET. So zero when it is given to N MOSFET will turn off the device. One when it is given to the P MOSFET again will turn off the device. So both your MP and MN are off or it is open. Is there a connection between pull up network and pull down network? No, there is no connection. So what will be the value which is present in your output? Because this output is isolated from both the networks because your MP and MN are off. As your MP and MN are off, output is isolated. What the output will be holding? Output will holding a result voltage. What will be the result voltage? What is the voltage that is held on at C out? The capacitor will have, would have been stored some voltage during your previous phase. That is during the logic evaluation phase, the capacitor would have stored some voltage that held on voltage will be your result voltage and that result voltage will be in your output. If your capacitor would have stored zero, no voltage, output will be zero. If the capacitor would have stored VDD, it will be VDD. Right? But how long this capacitor is going to store the voltage? Because we know the capacitor charges and discharges. It will charge to VDD, again it will discharge. It will hold the particular result voltage only for some time. And that particular time is called as hold time. So the output is valid only for a particular time, so called as hold time. After that, due to leakage, your output will change. After that, due to the leakage, your output is going to change. And it will go into the high impedance state, which means the output will be neither zero or nor VDD. It will stay in some intermediate voltage and that particular voltage we call as a high impedance state. Right? So what is the C square MOS logic? It is nothing but we have both your clock signals as well as your static C MOS logic. If your clock is equal to one, it will behave like a static logic mode and if your clock is zero, it will go into the high impedance mode, right? And it will store its value only for some time and that is called as hold time. The next topic is NORA or NP domino logic. Thank you.